There are different answers, but uh, one answer is that Prophet Adam salam was not in the world of obligation, Darut Taklif. Dunya, this world is Darut Taklif, is the world in which we have legal duties. In heaven, there was no legal duty, there was no sharia, there was not a religious sin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told Adam, as a, for example, when a doctor tells you not to eat this food, if you eat, what happens? It's not that you have committed a sin with respect to that doctor of course we believe if something harms your body it's you know you should be avoiding but that's another issue but when a doctor gives you advice if you don't do it you would lose if you want to buy a car there is an expert gives you advice if you don't listen and then your car is you know not a good car you lose it's not that you know you have committed a sin this is called Irshadi, Awamir Irshadi. When a command is to tell you what is your interest. Allah told Adam, do not eat from this tree, otherwise you go outside this heaven. He ate and he went outside heaven. <laughs> so he didn't commit a sin. But in dunya, if we don't listen, lower than this dunya is in hell. We are not in that garden that we have one floor left and we come here. <laughs> we are in the basement. <laughs> here, if we disobey, we go to hell. So this is the difference between us and Adam. So when we say they are ma'asum, we mean in this dunya, in Darut Taklif. There, there was no Taklif. For the prophets, as I, uh, yes, for the question is about prophet, you know, we have few cases in the Quran that uh, normally uh, people ask about whether these cases fit into our understanding of Isma. And even in the time of Ma'mun, you know, this, uh, Questions were asked from Imam Raza. Ma'mun asked Imam Raza. There is a hadith that Imam Raza asked, you know, explained. Uh, Sayyidah Murtaza rahmatullah has a book on this called Tanzihul Anbiya. So our scholars have studied all these verses one by one about Prophet Musa, Prophet Yunus, all of them. And the answer is that they have not committed a fiqhi sin. A legal sin, a sin for which your punishment is punishment in hell unless you are forgiven. Any sin whose punishment is not punishment in hell is not a legal sin. Okay? So, at least for major sins. Sometimes prophets did what we call in Kalam Tarke Awla <coughs> means they were expected to do something better. But sometimes some prophets they didn't do what was better. 
They did something which was acceptable, but not better. But Allah expects from them <coughs> to do better. You know, imagine if you have a class for painting and a student who is in secondary school makes painting like person in primary school. You say, I expect from you more. If you were in the primary school, I would have given you A. But now I give you B. And if a person who is in high school makes this, we say we give you C. And if someone in university does, we say we give you D. So this is why we have this saying, Hasanatul Abrar, Sayyatul Muqarrabi. The good deeds of good servants of God, if it's done by Muqarrabin, is considered as bad deeds. What is your best, for example, action? Your salat. Okay? But if a person who is muqarrab to Allah says his prayer like us, he would be punished for praying like this. Because our good action for them is a bad action. Because expectations are different. So, Prophet Yunus didn't commit a sin like a sin that we commit, but Allah expects a person in that level to do better. Thank you very much. Inshallah, we will meet after two weeks. Yeah, inshallah. Alhamdulillah.